In this tutorial, we will learn how to wrap any object in plastic, which is also called vacuum packing, and we have even built a free add-on to make it real quick, just a one-click solution. So let's say we have a model like this, we will first discuss how to do it manually. And remember that it has to be a mesh object for this technique to work. We will first add a cube, and we need to enlarge it sufficiently, so that it covers the entire model. If we enable the wireframe view, we can clearly see its inside, and place it accordingly. We need to ensure that no part of the target model remains outside. Now select the cube, and in the Modifiers tab, we will first add a subdivision surface modifier. Then switch over to the simple option, and let's also increase the subdivision levels up to 5, the higher is the better. Then minimize this, and we'll add another modifier, called shrink wrap modifier from here. Please note that the wrap method should be nearest surface point, and the snap mode should be set as on surface. Then in this target field, we will select our model or the train engine. So you can see that the cube is now wrapped around our model, but we need to further improve its geometry. So first we will change the offset value, maybe 0.01, it depends on the size of your model, it will add some thickness to the plastic wrapper. Now minimize this modifier, and again we will add a subdivision surface modifier. But this time, we have to select the Catmull Clerk option, and the subdivision levels can be 2. But if we go to the rendered view, we will see that everything is just solid white, because we are yet to add a transparent material for this plastic. So go to the Materials tab, create a new material, and let's also change its color to a very light blue color, just like a real plastic. Then the metallic value should be 0.25, the roughness should be 0.05, and we can reduce this IOR to 1.2. And for the transparency, we need to increase the transmission value to 1. Then further scroll down below, as you have to enable another option here called Ray Trace Refraction. And if you are using EV, then in the Render Properties tab, you need to also enable the Screen Space Reflections, and under this, enable the option of Refraction as well. So finally we can see the train engine inside the cover, but the surface of the cover is not very smooth. So while it is selected, go to the Object menu, and turn on the Shade Smooth option from here. Now, everything looks cool, and we have a nice plastic wrapper around the target object. If you need to wrap multiple objects together in a single cover, you can first create duplicates of those objects, join them together, and use that as the target for the cover, but hide it in the render. So this is how we can quickly wrap anything with a plastic cover, but we have taken this even one step ahead, and created an add-on to do this task automatically, in a single click. Let's say we want to wrap this airplane inside a plastic cover, and this time we will do it through our add-on. Once you install this free add-on, you'll get an option like this. You can customize the input parameters from here, let's say we change the plastic color to light green this time. Now if we run our add-on, the selected object will get wrapped under plastic, and you can notice that the plastic has a slight greenish color. We made this add-on free for everyone, you can download it from the links given below in the video description. And if you select the plastic cover, you will see that all the modifiers we discussed are present here, you can customize them if you need a different result. So that's all for today, I hope you like this tutorial and our add-on. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.